King Charles and Camilla, the Queen Consort, have gathered with senior members of the royal family at Windsor Castle for the first Easter Sunday service of the monarch's reign. The Windsors arrived at St George's Chapel in the grounds of the Berkshire Castle for the traditional Easter Day matins this morning. This year's service was likely to have been a poignant event for the royals with the 15th century chapel being the late Queen Elizabeth II's final resting place. It is also the first Easter Sunday service to take place since Her Late Majesty's death. Elizabeth II is buried in the church's King George VI Memorial Chapel, alongside Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, and her late parents George VI and the Queen Mother, with their four names inscribed on a new black stone slab set in the floor. Today also marks two years since the death of Prince Philip. The Windsors gathered at St George's in September for Elizabeth's committal service and private burial after her state funeral in Westminster Abbey. Queen Elizabeth II was forced to miss last April's Easter Sunday service due to mobility problems. Instead, Prince William, and Kate, who was then Duchess of Cambridge, led members of the royal family into church. Charles has played blinder over coronation with Petty Harry, and King Want Grovel the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have yet to respond to their invitation to be part of the 2000 strong congregation, including heads of state, at Westminster Abbey in less than four weeks time. The deadline to RSVP for the historic event on May 6 passed on Monday and their silence has left organizers in limbo. But a royal source said the 74-year-old king is in no mood to pander to Harry's whims. Read more here. Dressed in matching blue outfits, Charles and Camilla led senior royals, including Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, the Wessexes and Waleses towards the historic chapel. Camilla wore a blue coat dress by Anna Valentine and hat by Philip Treacy. The Queen Consort also sported a diamond love knot brooch. Kate, Princess of Wales, shown in a royal blue outfit and matching pillbox hat by Locke & Co. While a heavily pregnant Princess Eugenie also ventured out for the service with her husband, Jack Brooksbank. Eagle-eyed royal fans spotted the Princess of Wales wearing a deep red nail varnish, which she has rarely worn before. Kate donned a coat by Catherine Walker. The Prince and Princess of Edinburgh were joined by their son, James Viscount Severn, but not their daughter Lady Louise. Prince William and Kate's three children could also be seen walking towards the chapel door with the Princess of Wales holding Prince Louis's hand as Prince George and Princess Charlotte stayed by their father's side. Little Louis, attending the service for the first time, sported a bright blue pair of shorts as many of the royals donned the same color to mark Easter Sunday. Charlotte beamed alongside her family dressed in an outfit which complemented her mother's own ensemble as she held her father's hand. It is the first time the Waleses have celebrated the Easter holiday since they moved into Adelaide Cottage, which is located minutes away from Windsor Castle and the chapel. Princess Anne's daughter, Zara Tyndall, her son-in-law, Mike Tyndall, Princess Beatrice and her husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, walked ahead of the Waleses towards St George's Chapel. The Tyndalls were joined by their daughters, Mia and Lena. Don't miss! Meghan Markle frustrated when Doria interrupts her, expert claims, report, Charles has played blinder over coronation with petulant Harry, opinion, Queen had sharp words with William over George decision, author, revealed, as monarch, King Charles succeeded his mother to become the supreme governor of the Church of England. In less than a month's time. He will be crowned alongside Camilla in a solemn religious service at the nation's church, 
Westminster Abbey. After today's Easter Sunday service, the royals are expected to follow tradition by heading back to Windsor Castle for a four-course roast dinner. King Charles is said to be about to relax a strict Easter lunch rule, according to experts. Royal expert Ingrid Seward predicted a big reunion over the bank holiday weekend. Royal expert Ingrid Seward said she believed the whole family would attend, apart from Prince Harry, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and their children, Prince Archie Harrison and Princess Lilibet Diana, who live in the US. King Charles may also axe a strict rule introduced by the late Queen during the lunch. Ms. Seward told The Sun, they will all have dinner together, but not the young children, they will eat in the nursery dining room. The Queen always said until they could hold a knife and fork properly they could not eat at the table, but Charles might have relaxed that rule a bit. Ms. Seward added that she believed the Princess of Wales would also play a part in organizing some of the children's Easter activities. She said, Kate is a great organizer and will almost certainly organize an Easter egg hunt, they can also go to the Royal Muse and see the horses there and there is an indoor pool for swimming and ponies for them to ride. King Charles and Camilla, Queen Consort, smiled at onlookers as they departed from the chapel at the end of the Easter Sunday service. The Queen Consort left separately as she had a private engagement to attend, stopping to take an Easter posy from a young member of the castle community, 10-year-old Harriet. She told her, a very, very happy Easter. What a beautiful day! Other members of the royal family were invited to the deanery for refreshments, leaving at around 12. 20 p.m. Charles was pictured waving to the crowd, appearing moved by the service and the poignancy of what must have been a moving occasion. from